Hello, 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 hello. Colleagues, friends, you are welcome to the Airport Safety Channel. And I am your regular host, Isaac Otu. It is a privilege to have you join me today, and I hope you will enjoy this presentation. This is the last week of the month, and we will be using the last week of each month to summarize the topics discussed for that particular month. I will also take time to provide answers to issues raised by viewers during the month. As you know, we have been discussing issues related to airport inspections. So let's review what we have learned so far. Okay, so we began our program by looking at the type of inspectors. And we observed that the inspectors could either be from the civil aviation, or they could be coming from the airport operator, or from others such as the ACI, IATA, or another recognized institution that has a mission in your airport. And when it comes to civil aviation, airport operator or others, everyone is coming with specific set of checklists. This checklist that they are coming with are prepared from relevant documents, which includes for the CAA, their national regulations, previous audit findings, checklists, and reports that they have related to the airport. As an airport operator, the checklist will also be produced using your airport manual or your standard operating procedures, your previous checklist or other reports that you have that contains information relating to your airport. For third parties such as ACI or the others that I mentioned previously, they may be using checklists prepared from all these other documents and also coming along with best industry practices to see where or how the airport is performing. They may also have specific terms of reference for their function, and therefore they will be having checklists prepared to provide answers to that specific terms of reference. Program. So, the question was, do you know what is involved? And we first looked at the CA inspectors and the focus of their inspections. We observed that basically their inspection is to verify aerodrome data, confirm that facilities meet minimum standards, and review actions taken by the airport operator in terms of their self-inspection program. This is the focus of the CA inspectors. We also went in further and observed that the aerodrome certificate holders internal audit program is of primary importance to the CA inspectors. The authorities audits are conducted to review and evaluate that particular program. So as an airport operator, your own internal audit program is what the CAA is in to audit. So the CAA will be independently checking and verifying the particulars of the aerodrome notified in the AIP, as well as the aerodrome operating procedures, safety measures, facilities, and equipment. So when it comes to CAA inspections, they are only verifying or confirming what the airport operator has provided or promise to make available to its users. We moved on to the airport operator, and the question still remains, do you know what is involved? We looked at the focus of the airport operator and observed that the airport operator is working to achieve a set of standards and recommended practices or regulations set by the CAE. These regulations mandate the airport operator to establish self-inspection program. 
record the details of the inspection, initiate actions to correct any deviations observed, and also file the report of that self-inspection program for inspection by the CAE during their audits. And this inspection program is vital to, for the safe airport operations. And it is performed at different levels. Therefore, the airport must establish an aerodrome inspection program and an internal audit program. That is a continuous inspection program and an internal audit that is performed periodically to verify the uh, 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 observations made during the inspections and provide corrections as required. So what is the expectation of the airport operator when performing self-inspections? One, by performing the self-inspection and the internal audit program, the airport operator will be complying with the prescribed standards and procedures of the CA. Also, it means that you are taking a proactive safety management approach in the operation of the aerodromes. The safety management approach means you are identifying hazards, you are assessing the risks, and you are mitigating. All these things are en engulfed in your inspection program. As you conduct your inspection, you are uh, uh, simultaneously performing all these actions. Also, you are demonstrating that you have discharged your safety obligations to the traveling public. This will help in meeting certification requirements when the time comes. And asked, as an airport inspector, do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes in order to properly perform self-inspection and audits? The airport inspector must be trained and provided with the necessary tools to conduct the inspections. Training can be in the form of previously achieved formal education certificates or a professional certificate directly related to the functions performed on duty or on the job orientation offered to personnel performing under the supervision of qualified officers. It is important to note that continuous professional development is very important and must be pursued. It is very important to know these things. And in addition to the training, tools for performing the airside inspections must also be provided, such as personal protective equipment and clothing, checklists, measuring tools, and any other item required to perform that particular inspection needs to be provided by the airport operator. So, as I mentioned before, continuous professional development is important for those who have been certified to ensure currency with industry practices. For those who have just joined or are yet to receive the required training for the performance of their functions, continuous professional development will help you to learn new things faster. It will help you to grow faster and better. It will help you to do well in the things that you are expected to do. Your existing airport document, such as your aerodrome document, your previous inspection and audit reports, or even using uh, uh, online search engines, is a source of starting your personal development training. You can also learn from peers. And then when you hear something, ask questions, find out more, and you will be personally developing yourself. Subscribing to this platform is also an advantage. So on YouTube, you can subscribe to various platforms that will give you a lot 
of knowledge in this area. To summarize this week's presentation, I'd like to inform you or remind you all that airport inspection is mandatory. Airport inspection is the first activity required to be completed before the day starts and also the last activity to be undertaken after the day's work. Good understanding and knowledge in the area of expertise is required to perform inspections and you have the responsibility to ensure that you know what you are doing and you do what you know. It is very important to note these things. But don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. We are nowhere near our target of 500 subscribers by the end of this month and I am counting on you to achieve that. Don't hold back from your friends. Share and subscribe. It's very important. Okay, so it's time for your input. What is your input or what has been your input up to now? We have one message from one of our viewers and this request is very important. It says, good morning, Isaac. Can you please help us with some training materials for our department, I beg you. Now, this is a very important request. However, as you may have observed in our last lecture and in this review that we had, training can either be formal or informal. Formal training are structured. Informal training provides bits and pieces which over time becomes complete as you keep learning. So this platform is doing just that, giving you the informal aspect, providing you the bits and pieces here and there. And I also wish to highlight the fact that the first training material you have is your airport documentation. That is your first training material. That is the first material available to you that is structured. So you can take your time and start with that. And as you go through it and you get information from this platform, you will realize that you are learning faster than you really uh, assume. So I will encourage you to get access to those documents. Try and get access to what is existing, what is previous documents relating to your airport. Review them and apply them to the operations. This is one of the places to start your personal development. I encourage that you read your own airport document. It's a very important place to start. We also have another comment from the YouTube platform. It says, thanks so much. I would like for us to go deeper in inspection. Yes, I mentioned that your comment will tell where we go from here. So this viewer has requested that we go deeper in inspection. I believe for us to run a presentation on inspections, we would first have to know the facility that we are inspecting well. So to fulfill this request, our next presentation will be focusing on the airport facilities. I'm going to take the airport facilities and take one point at a time. We'll go through it understand it, know where it is before we move on. That is how our presentation will go from here. Keep your comments coming. Keep your questions flowing. And I will do my best to make sure that we work on each and every comment or message that comes to us. But the most important thing is for you to invite your friends to join so that we learn together. So our bullet for this week is the first step to receiving an answer is being brave enough to ask questions. The first step to receiving an answer is being brave enough to ask questions. 
ask questions, send your messages, and we will be willing to answer you as your questions come in. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Help us to re reach our 500 subscribers before the end of August. It takes only a second. Encourage your colleagues to do so. Thank you for watching once again. Post your comments and questions. Subscribe and click the bell. Share with one and all. Thank you.